Brian, thanks for the invitation to your stand at Advanced Engineering 2019. Now, I saw a similar system. This is a measuring system with the Cobot system. At Emo, it was the world launch, but this is the first time you've shown a system like this in the UK. Yes, it is, Mark, and thanks for coming along. Um, at the Emo, we showed our new micro CMM, which is the world's first optical micro coordinate system. Here we're showing the, measure, the measurement system G5 along with the uh, automatic loading and unloading system. And what this enables a, a user to do is actually measure uh, batches of, of products uh, without user influence. So it's a measurement system that can be used remotely. It can run 24 hours a day. And at the end of it, the system will, will compare it against CAD, will then decide whether it's a good product or a bad product and place it in the appropriate rack for either rework or acceptance. One thing uh, I've noticed uh, both in EMO and here, you've got metallic parts here, but can your systems actually measure and surface measure other materials like composites for instance? Absolutely. Um, composites we, we, are, we are measuring quite, quite regularly and also we, with these systems now we can measure some of the plastics um, and, uh, and certainly the additive manufactured products. They are really very, very good and very easy for us to read, to measure, sorry. And uh, why manufacture something like this? Is this, is this really down on, on, on driven by the customers, they say? There is a real requirement in industry to speed up the process of measurement. And the measurement room is typically a bottleneck if you're measuring a lot of systems. And the drive is to actually remove that bottleneck by automating the process of measurement. So this enables manufacturing organizations of small batches to actually auto not only automate their manufacturing system, but also automate the measurement of the components they produce. So it aids manufacture, it speeds up manufacture, and removes or reduces the need for a user influence which can directly affect the measurement result. And when you look at a system like this, who would be most appealed to this type of product? Who would it really benefit? It, it, it will benefit people who are producing, shall we say, relatively small batches because the process of surface measurement, for example, is not, very, is not necessarily quick. But small, high precision components where there are a lot of detailed uh, measurements to be made on the surface. For example, with this, you could take a, t a small turned pin, for example, with very complicated radii on it, and you could measure all of those features, which is very difficult to do manually and also very difficult to do with the CMM. And this type of system, does it have to be in a sort of temperature type environment, let's say, or could it be on the shop floor? It can be on the shop floor. Um, all of the systems that we produce, as you probably will remember, are on, based on the focus variation principle, which is inherently temperature independent and, and environment independent. On the higher end products like the micro CMM, then we start to have to consider um, the environment that it's in. But in this type of situation, uh, no, there really is no restriction and it will work in a, in a manufacturing environment. And finally, when you look at this type of system, could this be bespoke to every customer's need? Yes, it can be. Uh, essentially, it is because the, the, the design of the system, it, we are manipulating the product. So we're taking the product, we're taking it to a measurement system and measuring it. So each product will be different. So the method of clamping it, the method of holding it, the method of measuring it, the method of rotating it will all be different although it's all based on the standard product. So we customise the application, we don't necessarily customise the product. And when I was at Emo, it did draw uh, a lot of people to it. How has it been at Advanced Engineering? Equally here. I mean, it's, we, we're in a very good location. This is a very busy show. Um, and the, the movement of the robot seems to draw people in, but then of course they realise it's actually a measuring system, which we're able then to demonstrate and show to them. Yes, it's been very good. Thanks, Brian. Okay, Mark, appreciate your time. Thank you.